Now it is the second day of demolitions in Kibra to pave way for road expansion project. Uh, Shadrach Miti has gone back to Kibra to track the progress so far. Shadrach, what does day two look like? Well, day two, Akisa is all about demolition, demolition, demolition. And uh, from how things look, maybe in the next one or two hours, the, the demolition uh, that has been going on since yesterday will be done and... Uh, the area will be ready for the construction of this road that is supposed to link uh, the two main roads in Nairobi, that is Langata Road and Ngong Road. And remember, as per the schedule from the Kenya Urban Roads Authority, this project is supposed to end by November. And so by November, it's expected that this road will be ready for use and uh, people now will be experiencing the new connectivity within Nairobi, even as the government seeks to beat what it calls rampant um, traffic jam within the city. And so uh, we have been moving around at least to just have some experiences from the residents and even some of the major installations within the area. Remember, this corridor has about seven schools and all those schools have been brought down except one school. That is Mashimoni Quarter School that was uh, just, uh, we may say, about three quarters of that school or maybe a, a, a third of it was brought down because uh, whereas several other schools found within the corridor were said to have been built right in the middle of the corridor, this particular school has only a section of the land that is falling within the corridor. And so we were there this morning and we witnessed the demolition of the part of that uh, school. Uh, but what was so sad is that uh, now there's no learning going on as it was yesterday, like in many other schools we visited. And again, uh, managers of that school and parents have expressed their displeasure uh, for what uh, they call a rude interruption of learning cycle for their children and uh, even as they were preparing for the examination. And so we are joined by some of the uh, residents here who are going to tell us exactly how they feel about this demolition now that the exercise is over. Karibu sana kukete news, nitakushikea. Tuambie jina lako na utueleze ni upe mtazamu wako. I'm calling Maurice Okum. What we can say about this one is uh, I appreciate the government because I think that that is the what for big agenda government is promised us. So I can add is now doing what is, is about everybody. It's not for individual. And when they inform government, they told us for big agenda. So me appreciate for that. Now there are those who feel the government has not uh, executed this project in the best way possible. They feel it was so abrupt and that uh, the demolition of the structures was not as per the agreed uh, um, uh, plan that people are to be given some money before they move out. What is your position and how has it affected you? But me, for me, I think this this was for almost one year. People have been told for about one year, so I don't know why people worried about this one because this one is what government promised us for when he formed government for four bigger big four agenda. I think this is a mere can appreciate what is that. So finally, what do you have to tell those parents who are crying foul of over their children missing school because their schools have been destroyed? I can tell them. Where are they? They can be to appreciate what Gava is doing. That is what I can say. Asante sana. Well, um, Akisa, you would agree with me that uh, at least that is the only one voice since yesterday that we are getting that seems to appreciate the project. That uh, there are several other people we have inter interviewed and the reactions we've been getting have been adamant that they are not opposed to the project, but they feel not so happy about the way it has been executed. And so for him, he says, well, there may be some several other shortcomings, but this has been long coming. And so those who are claiming that uh, there was no time good enough for them to move are not being truthful and that uh, the government gave, gave this notice so long ago and anybody within the corridor should have had the opportunity to move out even without having their properties destroyed and demolished as it were. And so, uh, Akisa, we are, we, we are, although we are yet to get an official indication from the uh, Kenya Urban Roads Authority, we know that by fall of today, uh, the exercise of demolition will be over. And uh, as it had been indicated to us yesterday, about 2,000 households 
have been affected in this entire process. And that gives us uh, an estimated population of about 20 to 30,000 people who have been uh, um, uh, affected. And as it were, since when the government began this project, it said this land belongs to it, and so there was not any way that it was going to work on the compensation aspect, except just giving a little financial assistance to those who are affected, even as they uh, seek to move on with their life uninterrupted. And so that has been the cry that we have been receiving from these people saying, yes, they were willing to move. But now they were not given a time, enough time to move out, and even the little promise of uh, the little promise about the financial assistance that was uh, uh, put out to them by the government has not yet come, and they are still waiting. But they feel um, not so much has, done, has been done to secure them and at least to cushion them uh, from further uh, anguish, even as they seek to move on with their with their life in another uh, in other places. Back to you, Akisa. Shadrach, thank you. Definitely, we will be going back periodically to just see how the situation is. Earlier, as I mentioned, a number of members of parliament from ODM are also expected to visit the area. So we'll be seeing how that pans out later. In